since I've spoken to you. Let's address the elephant in the room. I got butchered by a hairdresser, so we need to get that fixed. But I don't even want to talk about it. It's, it's, it, was, it, it was a bad experience, so I'm on the case. Don't worry. <laughs> um, I thought I'd just start vlogging because I haven't done it in so long and I really need a connection now. I'm struggling really struggling to and I'm I'm so bloody lucky to live here but just just I just need to see people I need to go somewhere I need to sit in a cafe I need to I need to connect so I'm connecting to you now that's what we're gonna do I started a gazillion books oh I finished this oh last time I spoke to you I was reading something else let's start from the start <laughs> I was reading this, I think. Oh god, this hair is so bad. Uh, I didn't have to. I, I wasn't. The, the way the author wrote the story and the characters meant that I just didn't connect to anybody, so that's the end of that. I started and finished and sat with this. I had epiphany moments. I thought this was going to just be a little, you know easy read an indian author indian fiction set in delhi about a woman and i mean the real tragedy of this book is the cover it's terrible it's just so much more than what the cover conveys it's so good and it came to me at the right time it's mama talk it's woman talk it's wife talk it's all of the things god i loved this book i did I got back into journaling again and did this like painting and yeah it just opened up a heap of stuff for me I loved it um yeah so I don't know if you ever see it I would I would highly recommend picking it up but and then I started three books I started A Spell of Winter I got to there as part of the my booktube tinder with Simon Savage this is I'm on the second last book be able to do a compatibility score so I started this Helen Dunmore's writing is taking me a bit to get used to but I'm, I'm in, intrigued and compelled and interested of course but just the writing style bit, bit interesting so I had that night I uh, need something easy so of course I picked up Agatha this is the second Poirot is that how you say it Poirot murder on the links and that's a millionaire and his body gets stabbed and thrown into an open grave in france and he sent a letter to poirot and poirot came too late because when he got there he died at 2 a.m that morning and there's a mysterious woman it's so cool but i'm only just there i started reading this at the bad hairdresser job and you can see i only got that far because i was like concerned about what she was doing to me i mean look at that so bad and then i'm doing a buddy read now i haven't done a buddy read in a long time because i just like i feel oh it's hard everybody's in the same boat but there's a group of us that love thomas hardy i love thomas hardy and reading it with these people makes me happy and so we're reading the hand of ethel burda check out the cover it's so bad i shared it with my group we all had a laugh um, so yeah, I've started that and I've got this schedule to stick to. Now I have dropped out of the last two buddy reads with this group, so I'm a little nervous I'm going to do it again, but I've started and it started out the first, you know, in the first four lines I was laughing. So, so yeah, I've got these three on the go. Back to poly reading because my mind is all over the place. Okay, I'm going to leave you now. And it's Monday night and climb into bed. 
Um, so I'll just keep updating you through the week when some reading happens. And um, yeah, it's just nice to be talking to you again. Hopefully this can pull me out of whatever space I'm in. Okay, good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Hi, it's Wednesday afternoon. Look, today's been one of those days where just I don't want to do anything. I've worked. Yes, darling. Can we play in six minutes? In six minutes? Yes. Yes, we can play in six minutes. I have a Cluedo date, a hot Cluedo date. Hang on. Okay, look, Cluedo, Cluedo's done. It was uh, Colonel Mustard in the study with the lead pipe, just in case you're wondering. Um, I love playing that game. It's hard with the kids because, you know, little people tend to give off clues. Paddy left his cards facing, you know, facing up twice during the game. So I get all these little clues. <laughs> anyway, that's done now. Um, look, I've had a shit day. It's just been a shit day. Uh, just for no particular reason, just work and homeschooling and it's a gloomy day and I just want to be on my couch reading and... I can't and I'm just cranky about that so Denny went to the post office though and he came home with a package and it has just lifted me and I just shut my computer immediately for work and just walked in here so I'm going to share with you I haven't opened it yet I'm glad I've opened it but inside was this bag now I know what it is my lovely friend Jane who I met on Instagram and who watches my vlogs as well um, she saw my ramblings and excitement about my Agatha Christie Fontana collection and she sent me a photo of the one she had at her house and there were three that she had that I didn't have in my collection and she just so generously posted them to me. I mean, how amazing is this community and how amazing is she? So I have the three. Now I know what they are but I haven't seen them in real life yet. Oh my gosh, murder is easy. Check out that amazing cover. God, and in such great condition. Oh my gosh. Um, <gasps> the moving finger. I love the random sort of items on the cover, like a baseball bat, a glass of water, and a letter. What a what an earth is it anyway? Oh wow. And then cat among the pigeons. <laughs> Speaking of random things. A revolver, a tennis ball, and some gems. So this is just amazing and is going into my collection. So beautiful. I'm so thankful. Thank you, Jane. And she sent a little letter. Oh, we've got bookmarks. Oh, <gasps> These ones, oh, look at this one, look at this one, look at this one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is beautiful. Oh, that's going to make me so happy. Opening my book up to this bookmark. And these gorgeous Make-A-Wish ones. They're so nice. Oh, Jane, my heart is full. Oh, even a beautiful card. Oh, wow. Well. It's with great pleasure that I send you these three books. I love Agatha Christie Mysteries. And her real life was interesting too. Hmm. I'll have to have a look. I also enclosed a bookmark for yourself and one each for your boys. <laughs> That's made me really emotional. <laughs> That's so very kind. <laughs> Thank you, Jane. Thanks. They're going to love it. They're going to love it. Oh, so, so thoughtful. 
online friendships. They are real, people. I was a skeptic before this whole booktube stuff started, but they are real. Oh, I'm crying. Oh, goodness. I just appreciate this, Jane, if you're watching, more than you could know, and just has, has made me so happy. <gasps> now I need to put them on my shelves. Okay. This is an exciting part, too. Okay. So this is the list I printed out, and all these blue ones are the ones I didn't have. I'll sit down here so we can talk. So, Cat Among the Pigeons. Ah, so that was a Poirot. That is a Poirot. And so it goes there. The moving finger is the Miss Marple. Now, there are two Miss Marples that I don't have. Like, I have one in a different edition. And this was the last one that I just didn't have at all. So that can go there. Oh, wow. So exciting. And murder is easy. Ah, it's one of the superintendent battle books. There was two of those I didn't have. So I'm just after one more in that series. Hooray. Oh, I'm going to put them up on the shelves. Oh, that's so exciting. So Jane, thank you for helping me grow my collection and bringing me such joy on such a crappy day. Um, okay, so it's probably time for me to sort out dinner and light the fire. Someone was collecting me sticks, but they don't seem to have materialized. I checked in and read the first bit of The Hand of Ethelberta. It's, it's great. It's a, it's a funny one. So with quirky little characters and yeah, I just, Thomas Hardy is, I don't know. I haven't read enough sort of classic authors to say he's my favorite, but of the ones I've read, he's definitely my favorite. <laughs> so, and I'm enjoying reading it with my buddies as well. So done that. Um, tomorrow I need to check in again. So I probably need to read another 40 or so pages tonight of this one. That's the, what I'll do when I get a moment. Oh, the sheep are coming in, do you want to see? There they are. They come into this front paddock every night. They eat the hay. They stand on top of the hay. <laughs> um, and there's Solomon the donkey. Let's try and zoom in on him. He's the protector of the sheep. It's so nice watching them come in and the little lambs jumping around. There's a couple there going the wrong way. So cute. Yeah. There they go. <laughs> they have so much fun together. This is just such a delight this time in the afternoon. It's early. Actually, it's not. Okay, we're doing some early morning reading. That looks like it's much earlier than it is because the, the sun doesn't come up till 6.30 here now because it's nearly winter. I have to check in with my buddies today and I have 80 pages of this guy to read. So I'm going to sit here with my little notepad and um, yeah, start my day with Thomas Hardy. There could be far worse ways to start a day, that's for sure. I love him. These days are just rolling into same, same, same. Just, I just cannot wait for next week at least when both children will be at school and I can have a bit of variation in what I do in a day. Maybe, I don't know, it's just so repetitive. I feel like I've got a newborn baby again, you know, when you wake up and it's Groundhog Day, every day is the same. Like this today is like, okay, I gotta wake up and then I could do the morning shift of homeschooling and I gotta find out something for dinner. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna cook for dinner and then I gotta go and pick that up and then I gotta drop it to school or whatever and then I've gotta, you know, and then I we swap over at lunch and then I make lunch and then we swap over at lunch and then I do homeschool. Oh no, I don't do homeschool. Then I do work and then I work till whatever and then I light the fire and I start dinner and I, that's the end of my day. So boring, so, I'm so bored with myself. I've got two more days of this, that's all I've got. I can do it, I really can. Mentally I need to psych myself up, okay.
enough. You don't need to eat this crap. I'll talk to you later on. I hardly leave the house. I do the same thing every day, yet I can never find my glasses and I have two pairs of glasses. down on my day so far I had computer issues which if you know me well know that I, I don't handle and I had to find someone who could handle it for me and that has taken me all day all day with with a huge price tag attached and then I quickly ran in to grab lunch and that was an experience that just made me blech, because I went to a sushi restaurant we always go to and of course there are restrictions and then I thought while I'm here I'll just go pick up some new jeans I mean I've already had the worst day I don't need to be trying on jeans Let's just say I took about five pairs into the change room, attempted to try on one, and then left everything there and walked out. So what I am doing right now is driving in my car and I'm going to go to an op shop and do some book shopping because I need this day to be rescued somehow. <laughs> and I have to collect my child from school and I really don't want to be in this frame of mind when I see him. So, books are going to save me, again. Positive, I do have a hair appointment to fix this god-awful hair situation I've got going on tomorrow morning. So, that's the only positive. Sorry, total Debbie Downer moment on the vlog. But, I just can't even. Today, I just want to crawl under a cover and hide. <laughs> just hide. I want to go back to the Thomas Hardy book. Okay, there's my update. Oh, I'll let you know if books did save me. Surely, surely they will. The bookshop didn't save me, but chocolate is. Thank God. I'll have to pick up my little one from school. And then home, and I'm sitting in front of the fire, and I'm not moving. I don't care what happens for dinner. I just really <laughs> need to stop. I just need to just have a moment. Right, I had some success. So the mood slightly improved. And now I'm, I'm gonna sit and watch Lego Masters with the boys and the fire's on and the day's gonna get better. This is what I got from the, the various op shops I visited. Oh, Flower Hunter, this is a true story about Ellis Rowan, who's a woman, she's an Australian artist, and during World War I, she went alone into the tropical jungles of New Guinea in search of all 72 known species of the bird of paradise. And when she was 70 years old, holy smokes. So, yeah, I'm excited about that actually. Oh, we got a Tr Tracy's Trevelia because I loved the girl with the pearl earring, surprisingly. Not so, I just, anyway, I was surprised by my love. I don't know if I've already got this. This is about a whaler. What is it? The Life of Australian Whaling Captain William Chamberlain. A Tale of Abduction, Adventure and Murder. Totally against the whaling trade, but anyway. Yeah, I found it and I'm going to do it and give my opinion. We shall see. Oh, I got a Lauren Groff. I read... Here we go. Where is it? Okay. Fates and Furies with Joe Smith ages ago. This was our first buddy read, I think, wasn't it, Joe? And um, 
Loved it. And so this is the Monsters of Templeton. I don't know. I really enjoyed Lauren Groff's writing. I got, oh yeah, Indian fiction. <laughs> About a woman who makes saris. I don't, I don't know. Indian fiction. I mean, you have me there all the time. Ah, yes. I know. It's got a horse on a cover. I don't like horses. But um, it's not that I don't like horses. I shouldn't say that all the time. This is an Australian writer. It's blurbed by Helen Garner. It's about um, a couple of generations of family set in Outback, New South Wales or something. I don't know. But I started reading one of... Um, Jillian Mears books look it's behind me <laughs> and my day means I can't process too much um, and I really liked her writing as well so I found that oh I've already read Preservation by Jock Sarong it's awesome great Australian book loved it but it was a library copy so now I have my own oh this is my guilty pleasure Elizabeth Googe I don't know I've got heaps of her books. I've read a couple and I just they're just so easy to read and you know they say all the right things. I don't know. It's just an easy reading pleasure. So I don't know. This is about a dean and a atheist in a little village. So the friendship that they can forge. And last but not least, I got a Sarah Winman. I love Tin Man. Haven't read When God Was a Rabbit. But I know that I like all of her books. So what is this? A Year of Marvelous Ways. And Marvelous Ways is an 89-year-old. So, yeah, I don't know. It sounds like it, it would be heartwarming, this book. So the haul kind of fixed things up. All right. So now I'm going to watch Lego Masters with my boys. It's rainy, cold, all those sorts of things. So... Yeah, we're going to bunker down. We love Lego Masters. It's a bit of an addiction. And then I'm going to put, and then I'm going to, you know, claim the night for myself again. Probably go to sleep with Seinfeld like I do every night. Okay, there's the update. There's the quick haul. Kind of a half smile now. I'll talk to you later. Hi, it's the end of the day. I am two chapters off my check-in for my buddy read, which is meant to be tonight but I'm falling asleep. One of the pros of being on the other side of the world to your buddies in a buddy reading schedule is that you have a little extra time. <laughs> so I'm going to get up early and finish this off and check in then with my buddies because I'm not taking anything in. Um, just a little side note, I'm not loving it, which is my first Thomas Hardy, which I'm not loving. And one of my buddies made a point that I can't remember in what order this was written, but Hattie was making a conscious effort with this novel to get away from the the pastoral kind of themes that he runs with, which I love. And this is a London-based novel. Maybe that's why I'm not loving it. Well, there's lots of reasons why I'm not loving it. I'll save that for my buddies. I'll save you from that rant. <laughs> anyway, today's been a really big day. And I've, I've got to wipe this day away. I'm sorry it's been a little bit crazy, but real talk. Huh? And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Hi, it's Friday night. Um, I'm cuddled up on this chair by the fire because it's proper cold. It's our first day of winter, really. It didn't wait till the first of June. Holy smokes! It and it and it slammed us. So we're all just kind of in a state of shock, cuddled around the fire, <laughs> try and get through. Um, look, today's been a little. Oh, I'm I'm a brunette again. I haven't been a brunette for a little while, but um, yeah, we had to get rid of the yellow stripes that were in my hair from that bad hairdresser. So my new hairdresser did this, and I'm happy. I feel a lot more me with brown hair, so we've just got to try and um, maintain this for a bit. So yeah, there's that. Uh, I have reflected a lot on my just really full on day yesterday. 
seems like my tolerance levels have just dropped so much in what I'm able to handle at the moment um, because we're all dealing with so much other stuff that we don't normally do. So that computer problem I had yesterday, I solved today completely in about half an hour, so which was great and and did my work that needed to be done. And yeah, so it was kind of that fixing that. And after I fixed that issue and got that sorted, I just have flopped. And we had a friend over and we we're chatting with him and um, the kids, you know, did the homeschool thing. It's the last day. Today was the last day of homeschooling. Both of the children are back at school on Monday. So I'm just, it's been eight weeks, I think. It's a long time. It's a long time. Anyway, we did it. Denny and I high-fived each other. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to kind of wrap up the vlog for the week here. I did want to get a jump start on my weekend reading tonight, but it's I, I haven't done that. The kids, we've all been hanging out and stuff, so they've just um, put on a movie. So I think I'm just going to gather my thoughts, but... There's really nothing else vlog-worthy going to happen tonight. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Thanks for hanging out with me on a rather one of those weeks. I did a lot of this in the vlog, I'm sure. So I hope it doesn't bring you down too much, but real life, huh? And um, yeah, I'm going to start my weekend reading vlog tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Thanks for hanging out with me for the week. Thanks for being a point of connection for me. I need it. I appreciate it. Okay.